Fact, if you look at the straight deaths from substances, a different type of picture starts to appear. The number one killer in the country? It beat out AIDS, heroin, crack, cocaine, alcohol, car accidents, fire, and murder combined. Tobacco. That's a nasty, dirty thing to say, son. A lovely, pure white cigarette causing cancer. It gets me right here. <laughs> With an average of 430,000 deaths per year, considering it's a number one killer, it's interesting to know that tobacco receives government subsidies and is grown with radioactive fertilizer. Now get out there and sell cigarettes! Number two on the list? If we don't include poor diet and physical inactivity, with well over 85,000 deaths a year, alcohol. As we look much further down the list, there are others that may surprise you. Caffeine comes in with one to 10,000 deaths a year. And some of our most popular pain relievers, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, still make an appearance with over 7,500 deaths annually. Where does marijuana lie in this? What kind of staggering number do we find? I don't know. 50,000? 250,000? 300,000? From marijuana, I'd probably say then 80,000. I would say it would be hundreds of billions. Get ready for it. Here it comes. There are no deaths from cannabis use. Anywhere. You can't find one. In 10,000 years of known use of marijuana, there's never been a single death attributed to marijuana. There's 400,000 deaths in America alone every year that are directly attributed to tobacco. I've heard that you have to smoke something like 15,000 joints in 20 minutes to get a toxic amount of Delta-9 tetrahydrocannabinol. I challenge anybody to do that. And even in the animal studies where people have loaded uh, animals up with doses that would be hundreds of times what a human could possibly be exposed to, I, no animals don't die. The old E50 seems to be astronomical. I mean, you can die from ingesting too much aspirin. You can die from ingesting too much coffee. The drug warriors who say we have to protect society, save these people, are being just a little bit disingenuous. Not one university or medical facility has ever recorded a single death directly attributed to marijuana. But never mind that. There's other problems. Other reasons to fear it. Take addiction, for example. There are more kids in addiction clinics for marijuana than any other substance. This must mean that marijuana is the most addictive substance today. It's undoubtedly true that there are more uh, teenagers and kids in treatment for marijuana than all the other drugs combined. What the DEA never tells you is why that's true. A kid is caught possessing or smoking marijuana. He's taken to court. He's given a choice. Either you, you know, some horrible penalty or you go to a treatment center. Obviously chooses to go to treatment and goes to treatment there, he's considered an addict. But then the DEA gets the point of that stat and say, look at all these kids in treatment for marijuana. God, it must be because today's marijuana is not the marijuana that your parents were smoking. As far as I understand, only 3% of the people in treatment for marijuana are there voluntarily. The other 97% were told to by their guardian or told to by a judge. You can choose between jail or treatment. And a lot of people choose treatment. It provides no basis for speaking about addiction. Anybody who is at all sophisticated about marijuana would rate them the way two researchers were asked to rate drugs in order of addiction. Nicotine was one, alcohol was two, then heroin, then cocaine, and then coffee, and then marijuana. There may have been a couple of other drugs, but marijuana was at the very bottom, uh, below coffee. 